going to do it, do, do it. <laughs> Hi, rockers and rockettes. What's up? It's your girl, Lola, coming to you, of course, from my kitchen again. I have a reveal DIY project. It's really not the DIY project. It's not the tutorial. It's just a uh, reveal of me completing the tutorial and then what happened, what it looks like afterwards. I love Pinterest. Can you say Pinterest? I love Pinterest. You say Pinterest. I love it. So I happened across, my girlfriend was talking about a DIY a DSRL, like, you know, camera bag out of a pocketbook, blah, blah, blah. So I find it great. I go to the blog. It's by Vanilla and Lace. I'll show you a, a little screenshot of her, her blog. And on the blog, it's like the directions on how to make this, you know, your customized DRSL bag, DSRL bag. Um, so I loved it. I have more than one camera. Uh, so I said to myself, self, <laughs> what can we do to customize a bag for us that'll work? I had this small suitcase. It is a small suitcase in the basement. Okay. 16 by 13. Very, very small suitcase. I love this suitcase. It's been to a lot of places with me, but it doesn't do anything okay namely I can't it's not a good overnight bag the sizes it could have I guess I could have made it into a makeup bag too that's an option hmm. next suitcase I'll do makeup bag um, so I said let me take this little tiny suitcase and customize it like you know vanilla and lace did oh, I can do that so I'm gonna reveal to you my reveal of my inside of my traveling rolling and just to let you know rolling camera bags are anywhere from $180 to $280 for DSRL bags to carry your, your Nikon makes them, Canon makes them, and now La Vida Lola makes them, <laughs> customized. So what I did, as you can see, the first thing you're going to see is this cute polka dot fabric. This is a little pillow that I made to hold everything in, to hold the gear in. Most suitcases come with these little, uh, you know, straps to hold everything. And this is why, because I would not never really do it this way, but already things are jumping out. Okay. So I got this little pillow. And as you can see, hopefully you're getting it all, that all my gear fits in here. I have uh, three cameras. So I wanted all my gear to fit in. So we'll go through what I have in here and how I made it, okay? So what I have in here is my lenses for my Nikons. I have one, whoops, speed light fell out, three, three lenses. One of these little quantitary lights, they're like little speed flashes. Three lenses, pull out the insert that I went, that went with that for a lens and the other two lenses and the speed lights. I have a flash, my uh, speed flash. I have my, as you can see, my D70s in here. And here's the insert holder for my D70. It's right there. I'll pull it out as I'm taking it out. Um, taking it out. This would be, my D50-100 would be here, but I'm using it to record. My D50-100 would be here, but I'm using it to record. So take that out as well. And then my girlfriend gave me this cute little leopard bag. She got it for three bucks. Um, it's a high density camera bag. Hmm. Waterproof, Velcro, it has Velcro and it's leopard, it's my favorite color. So I use my, my Vixia is in here, my Canon Vixia uh, HSF 10, everything fits in here. The plug, the charge, extra batteries, my lavalier mic, which I'm using right now, uh, the plug, everything fits in this little tiny bag extra batteries for the lav, so I keep that all condensed. So basically, my little carry bag is fitting three cameras in it, plus sound, so it's pretty good. What I did do is I, I reinforced the whole bag with these cushions. I made these quarter inch, it's like half inch or quarter inch density foam that I cover with fabric. I made this little insert, sewed it all together, 
I did a double of the quarter, so it's a, I guess it's a one half inch on the bottom. And um, I, made, I sewed the sides in. I put hook and loop tape on it. I hook and loop taped the inside, as you can see, some of the pink Velcro. Maybe it's on that side, you can see. I'm like 80% done with this project. I didn't finish it all because I have some more sewing to do. But what I did do on the inside, I'm going to see if I can open it because this quilting foam is getting caught in the zipper. Nope. Inside of here, let me see if I can lift it. I put some quilting foam, and underneath the quilting foam, I, I put three-quarter, three-quarter, is that a, that's probably a quarter, three-quarters of an inch of uh, high-density foam between the roller, um, this part, the metal part, so that it would just have some more cushion, and it would be much more safer for the camera to not bang, the camera's not to bang around on the hard part, and then, like, you know, every suitcase, I'm sorry, every suitcase has that. So I just felt like you can use that little zipper part and then repurpose that inside piece. And uh, this is what I came up with, with this wonderful roller case that I customized, you know, for my four cameras, my three cameras and my lighting. Uh, I actually, not lighting, but my three cameras and my sound I can fit into here. Uh, so I got my mics, my lobs, yep, I, and I customized the whole thing. And I literally, with the suitcase and the, the fabric and the padding, I did it for like under $25. Uh, I got one yard of quarter inch high density foam for $7.99 a yard. I got um, four yards of fabric at $2 a yard, that was $8. And then some Rick Rack and the Velcro, those were uh, $4 for the Rick Rack and the four packs of Velcro. So, and then the lace I had already was something left over, but that was like 50 cents a yard. So for all that, I customized my bag, and I made a cute little do-it-yourself um, SRL bag, rolling bag, that would normally cost 280 bucks. I made it for like under 30 bucks. So if you have a little suitcase laying around and you have more than one camera, and a little bit of sales, you don't have to sew it. It doesn't have to be sewed. I sewed it because I have a sewing machine, and I just felt like it was the best thing for me to do. I haven't sewed in so long, but you don't have to sew. You can definitely use like fabric glue uh, and um, you can do the ironing hem stuff if you want to and then make little pillows and stick the foam inside and you know, flip it out and stick the foam inside. You can actually spray adhesive it on if you wanted to do that with the fabric. However you want to do it to customize your bag is how you do it. If you can't sew, you can always spray glue. That actually works. So I hope that you enjoyed my little tiny DIY reveal of my you know, roller bag, customized camera roller bag. And I hope that uh, you like my video. Subscribe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to include a Vanilla and Laces blog below in the description box below, as well as my own blog, uh, which is La Vida, Vida Lola, L-A-V-I-V-D-A-L-O-L-A, -L -L at blogspot.com as well as wordpress.com. And I'm going to include the directions, step-by-step uh, -step directions, seam allowance, all that for you to follow and how you would cut it out and all the fabric. I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern for you guys. And then from there, I hope to see you customizing your own uh, bag, roller bag for maybe not just for cameras, but maybe you do it for makeup or you do it for whatever. But I hope to see you customize your own bag and that this inspires you to do so. Please hit me up with a video response. If you do do your own bag, I want to see it so bad. And I just want to let you know, thank you for stopping by my channel. Please subscribe. Please like my video. And uh, it was also nice seeing you, rockers and rockets. I love you. And I hope to see you soon. See you later.